I was hoping I was popping my three to this bed. It's titled BBL Downfall. Yet again, another BBL related video. <laughs> okay, BBLs have officially been put to rest. They are officially dead. It appears. Uh, let's see what's on this bed. Let's watch. She just got a BBL. <laughs> Why her face? Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I uploaded this video earlier and some of you were saying the volume was messed up, so I deleted that video and I have re uploaded the okay, girl, thanks, girl. Stop for Stop. I'm confused why her face is like this. Wait, they didn't get no payment before leaving the hospital? What doctor you went to? You should already have this before you. Stay there. Where is she going? Huh? I need This feels very dark. Like, is she about to make it? This is scary. Does she make it is the question. This is the You got to wait in line, girl. Y'all, I can't believe it. We are finally in the era of being thick, going out of style. I am so happy to get to this point. Y'all done cheapened it up, okay? Because here's the thing. I'm starting to notice celebrities want everybody on Ozempic. Your favorite influencers who used to be thick, who used to be a little bigger, they skinny now. Like, I love that this is happening because for us naturally thick girls who were born with it, it was so hard living in the BBL era. Do you know how hard it was being naturally thick, living in the BBL era. Everybody asking you, is it real? Mm -hmm. Everybody asking what doctor you went to. People questioning you left to right. Do you know how hard it was to exist as a naturally thick girl in the BBL era? But now, since everybody and their mama get, got to be Now when you lose weight, you yeah, you're on Ozempic. <laughs> and now, every celebrities and influencers are on Ozempic and they're skinny now. And skinniness is coming back in the style. Don't nobody strive to be thick no more. 
And I love it because I was so sick of living the BBL era. Girl. I was tired of it. So I'm glad to finally be able to have my body shape and nobody question me whether or not it's a BBL, whether or not whatever, because it's out of style now. It's like I did. I, work, I went and got surgery, and I kind of I'm like want to transition back to my natural body. Like, That's so good. Like, what now? Yeah. Do you feel like it's going out of fashion? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like natural bodies are more and slim, slim, more slim, slim thick. I feel like that is like what's in right now. But this is the but then that uh, so naturally are you more your slim, slim yeah. thick, right? Mm-hmm. I wish I could have like my A cups back, like so bad, but it just. But why though? Because I miss little boobs. It'd be hurting your back and stuff. Our body will reject anything that's not supposed to be in there. And you don't realize that until you have something that's not supposed to be. I'm glad that somebody is speaking the truth about plastic surgery because this app really glamorizes getting a BBL. Just like what she says, sometimes your body would naturally reject things that are not supposed to be in there. So when you're putting your fat, even if it's your own fat, from one place to another, BBL is a surgery that is extremely dangerous. People make it seem like it's so easy to get a BBL, but just so you know, BBL actually has the highest death rate. And there were actually Instagram models that passed away because of getting too much plastic surgeries done. On top of that, because of the high demand of BBL and how much money that people or physicians can make, there are a lot of unlicensed or not certified doctors that will perform the surgery. So really do your research before going into doing this. Your body will reject anything that's not supposed to be in there. And you don't realize that until you have something that's not supposed to be I'm glad that somebody is speaking the truth Why about- Why are we saying this time? Oh, wait. Okay. Another question that I have gotten many times is, do I have any regrets? I have a lot of them. And I'm going to tell you why. One of them, and I know you guys are going to be like, what, is the BBL. I really wish I never did it. Because as soon as you gain weight, that's the first place your fat is going to go to. Well, for me. Um... I'm not really a huge fan of a huge booty on me because my frame is not too big, but my weight does fluctuate. Like I can go from 160 to 189. I was 189 last year, but my butt got huge at one point to where I was kind of like, oh, I don't like this. So I started to eat better and exercise, but it's mainly your eating. Um, So I had to like control my eating because this thing was getting really big. Um, as of now, it's not too bad because mm, you guys can't really see. It's not too bad because my eating is kind of like pretty good right now, I can say. And I've been exercising, but if I don't, it's a wrap. This thing is real big, and to me, it looks unrealistic. Mm. Another thing I regret is getting light pole in my arms. Let me show you why. You see those two marks? Those are two lipo holes. Like, at first, actually, this one was a keloid. Um, but I've been going to the dermatologist and he's been, like, injecting, I think, steroids in them. Yeah, I don't know. He's been injecting something in them to make them smaller. But, yes, those are my two regrets. So, lipo in your arms and a BBL. I personally recommend if you already got like a cute little bump back there, just just keep it. Like you don't really need nothing too big. But if you got like a super super you know flat butt and you just want something a little more voluptuous, you yeah, go for it or whatever look you're going for. But for me, I regret it. Um, I feel like big boobs it's are cute hard now, to work with. But guess what? If I was to eat wings up for a month and pancakes every morning and drink, it's nasty to me on me it, it just looks too much so yeah talk to your doctor and see what they recommend but those are my regrets I'm trying to figure yeah well I ain't, I ain't against skinny girls I used to be though I used to like them like skinny girls right like now skinny girls cool you know what I'm saying I like is the BBL going out of style I don't care what he think I don't really know if it's going out of style <laughs> I want to do the opposite of what you want but like too much is like Ah, right, everybody got it. Yeah. You know, just, yeah. Everybody got something to kind of go out of style. Then, yeah. You know? Even the ones that see, they used to be, it used to be a quality associated with the body done. 
Man, damn, anybody. So that's why it's kind of like played out. Yeah, yeah. Like regular girls. Yeah. Rich girls. Yeah. Broke girls. Yeah. I mean, that's when it's like played out. It hurts. I'm never coming back. Do you understand me? I'm never coming back. It hurts so bad. I've been here since 7.30 this morning. No, it's all the same way. She kind of look her though, right? I woke up freaking out. This is so bad. I'm about to just pee on myself because I got beat. But I don't care. Yes, I did. But he's still going to take me home. That's a 20 minute. I, I this. I'm never coming back. I don't even want to come back to Miami. I don't. Apparently, some of y'all were a little delayed. It's okay. I'll wait on y'all. I'll wait on y'all. When I woke up from the BBL, I was screaming like, oh my God, what the fuck did I do? Cause it hurt it so bad. It was the worst pain I ever had in my life. No lie. Oh, you serious? Worst pain I ever experienced. Like, nonstop? Just or it came like, in waves? So, so listen, once you wake up, you have to go get your own prescription. They prescribe you Percocet or hydrocodone. Mind you, you have to go get your own prescription. You have to wait 30, to, 30 minutes to an hour for them to... Um, but shouldn't they prescribe that to you before your surgery? I got my wisdom tooth removed and I already had my meds on deck. My Vicodin was ready to go. <laughs> so when I left, they had already injected me with whatever uh, uh, pain me medication. And when that started to wear off, I immediately took the Vicodin. Because that, that's, that was a terrible pain. I'm getting my wisdom teeth removed. So... I'm just confused what doctor y'all went to because I, I I would assume that's how that works. Give you the prescription, so you're sitting. Obviously, there it's different, but I, it just that just makes sense to me. It's unbearable. So you just sitting there waiting on your medicine. When you get your medicine, it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Once I got my medicine, I was walking around same day, blah blah. But it was once I got home. It was cool as long as I had that little fire hole. As long as I take that fire hole, it's like I swell up, I start hurting. It was just a pain that I don't want to go through. Get your body done? Do you? I mean, it's tricky for me because it's like I like having my body done, but as much trauma that it has brought me. Mm -hmm. It really like not. Nah, it hasn't. It wasn't been worth it. it. Yeah. No, it hasn't been worth it. It's just been so much like. I, then I had to gain 20 pounds to like to even do to it to get another one to try to fix Lord. the Dorito booty and then the Dorito booty wasn't all the <laughs> you gotta stop saying Dorito booty it is a Dorito <laughs> booty please don't travel right after you get a BBL oh yeah so listen to your thing. doctor alright she is fresh out from surgery I don't recommend you getting on an airplane the day after a surgery for a, such an involved procedure like that the reason why is getting on an airplane right especially for a long period of time puts you at risk for blood clots so mm -hmm. if you are getting a procedure give yourself a couple day buffer before you hop on an airplane if you do have to hop on an airplane get in the aisle seat and make sure you get up every 15 minutes mm -hmm. and walk on. This is where everything went downhill when I got my butt implants taken out it caused a lot of scar tissue in my butt which made my butt look very weird. And I see in the comments, you guys say, oh, your second surgery looks terrible, this and that, your butt looks weird, da 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 da. And it did, I couldn't even argue with you guys, it did, but that's just something I was going through, like physically, and looking at the comments hurt me a lot. And it's like, I couldn't mm -hmm. be mad because I didn't open up with you guys and be honest with you guys of what I really went through and why my butt was looking like that. I didn't know my butt was gonna look like that after surgery at all. I didn't know that. I just thought I was getting my implants taken out, but when I got them taken out, it caused a lot of scar tissue in my butt and it caused my butt to look very, very, very weird. And I dealt with that for a whole year because I got my implants taken out October 2022. It's talked about, you know, getting a BBL. Oh, yeah. And then you talked about regretting it. Mm -hmm. So, like, what made you have those regrets or want to or think about reviving it or taking it out? I need more curls. <laughs> I guess, like, I just, <laughs> like, you spread out. If you don't maintain it, if you don't go to the trainer or whatever, like, it spreads out and like just for me, um, it'll look like you got a bad BBL, but you didn't. You just didn't maintain it. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of girls don't know that. Or yeah, don't you have that. to yeah. a lot of people make fun of women like, oh, you want to go to the gym now after you got surgery? Yes, I want to go to the gym. Keep it up. Because I don't want to be built like a football player. But now, um, I have women get my butt took down twice. All these girls are saying they regret it. This is crazy. And it's still big. Like it's not big. 
It's big. It's big. Don't get me wrong. It's big. But now to me, it just looked like, okay, she got a BBL. Like, okay, she had a regular BBL. Because at first, baby, this booty, this was like three booties put together. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. My butt was big and it did not look good. Like, mm -hmm. it did not look good. So some people, it looked good, you know, and I'd be outside and people were like, oh, you know, like, can I take a picture with you? Like, I felt like an exhibit. Like, I felt like an art exhibit. I am not gonna lie to you. Girl in a bad way, though. And, um, I hated it. Like you know, art. like, I'm like, oh my God, like, I'm not a piece of meat. But, that's what it looked like. You know, that's what it looked like. I ain't gonna lie, like you outside. You see, that's like you being. I would have ran to the doctor's. Mother. Can I? Can I take a picture with you? This is all I'm gonna show you, baby. I'm going to the doctor the next fucking day. Are you serious? That is such yeah, an insult. You see anything, you know, it's gonna catch your attention, whether it's good attention or whether it's bad attention. I just have people like taking pictures of me. Mm -mm. I was hype as the. So, what do you guys think when it comes to this topic? That I think y'all need to go to the gym because you could definitely get similar results that obviously will look way more natural and uh, look good on your body if you just consistently go to the gym. It's going to take some years, though. <laughs> it definitely doesn't happen overnight, but, you know, it'll be worth it in the end, and you'll be snatched and right and tight and all that, you feel me? Because just hearing all these women who are coming out and saying they regretted their PBL, that's very scary. I feel like it's so, so many of them. Like, a lot of them regret it. That, that says a lot. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!